welcome back everybody in this video i'm gonna talk about local time in daytime api in java as before i have separated all the methods that i'm gonna use into five main sections how to create them how to add or subtract uh, values from the local time what are the get methods that we have how do we do a check in a local time there are different types of checks that we can do and what are the constants that we can use in local time so i'll start with how to create a local time so there are four main ways to create a local time first one is to use i'll create a local time variable i'll name it as local time now and you can use local time dot now the static method to create the current local time so the created local time will be in a default format which is the hours then the minutes then seconds and then nanoseconds let me print this value out it is in the format hours minutes seconds and nanoseconds so that is the first way of creating a local time in java next there is a method called off that we can use to create local time so i'll create a variable local time local time dot off and this off has three different implementations first one being the hour let's say hour is 12 and the minute In this way you can create a local time with only the hour and the minute so if i run this to create a local time only with the hour and the minute also i can change like i can add how many seconds like 45 seconds and also how many nanoseconds that we're gonna use and if i run this it will print out a date something like this local time now that we have created before so this is nanoseconds so there are prefixed zeros and we can change all these by using a uh, formatter and i'm going to talk about all these formatters in a different video so for now i'll use only up to seconds next way is to use the pass method I'm going to create a local time the time dot pass will require a character sequence so i'm going to use the default sequence that we're going to use so that means we need to give the hours then the minutes followed by seconds and also you can use the nanoseconds as well but i'm gonna keep it to seconds for so local time pass dot south v so the past time will be again a local time next we have the method from let me create a variable local time from and for this to create we need a temporal accessor if you can remember in the local date also we use a temporal accessor which is the local date time so in this case also i'm going to use local date time dot now method to create a local date time and i'm going to extract the local time from it so local time from dot so we will produce this print statement and i'm going to run this so from this also the current time will be printed on the screen so that is all about the creation of a local time variable we'll move on to the plus minus section in here we can manipulate data by adding hours by adding uh, minutes likewise we can manipulate the time for this there are two main methods plus and minus Apart from that there are methods to do the same thing so I'll start with the two main methods there is a method called uh, for now I'll use this local time variable to do the manipulation so local time dot plus is the first way to add time to this local time so let's say I have I need to add two hours into the local time so I need to add two hours and I need to mention the unit into this plus method so 
the way of uh, having units in daytime API is the chrono unit dot hours sorry hours will make the unit and I'm going to s out this right here and this will produce a local time adding two hours to this variable local time the time is 12 it will be 40 after adding two hours the main method to subtract time is the minus method local time dot minus and let's say I have to I need to uh, subtract 30 minutes from the time so we need to give the units as well minutes so this run the code and this will produce a time less than 30 minutes to the given time just like this so apart from these two methods, we also have straightforward methods like this local time dot plus hours and we can straight away give how many hours that we need to add and also there are straightforward methods like minus minutes minus minutes and how many minutes you need to subtract around this we added hours and also we subtracted minutes by using the straightforward method something like this also there are methods like plus hours plus minutes plus nanos and plus seconds you can have plus and also you can have minus minus minutes hours seconds nanos and seconds likewise you can use this plus minus methods to do manipulations to the local time let's move on to the gets section what are the get methods that we can use in a local time variable so, so the first method i'm gonna use is get hours so this will print the hour so the hour will be 12. next we can also take the minutes seconds and nanos so i also i use minutes as well so we have uh, 30 as the minute of the local time so those are the get methods that we can use in local time next we'll move on to the checks so the first check that we that i'm going to use is local time dot is equals local time now so this way you can check whether two times are equal to each other so i'm going to run this and this will be false because both the times are not equals because uh, this local time now is calculated up to nanoseconds so that is the way to check whether two times local times are equal apart from that we have two main methods is after and is before local time dot is after you can check whether a time is after a given time so let's check whether this local time is after the local time from so this local time from is the current method and local time now is 12 and it is false 12 is before the current time the current time is 11 43 pm so it is after so likewise we can use local local time dot is before local time now and this will the result will be true because the current time is 11 44 pm and the given time is 12 noon so it will be true so those are the checks that we can do in local time and finally we'll move on to the constants that we can use in local time first one is local time dot max which will give you the maximum uh, time that we can use and also local time dot mean will give you the minimum time in the day and also we have another constant called midnight and it will produce the time of the midnight so let's run this so this is the maximum time that we can have in a local time so that is 11 pm 59 minutes 59 seconds and about there are about three and nanoseconds so it should be nine nines right here so the minimum will be the midnight and also the midnight will be the midnight 
so those are the methods that we can use in uh, local time and that's all about local time in java daytime ep hope you learned something and thank you for listening have a nice day